Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert two thirds to a percent. Now, when we convert a fraction to a percent, we can start by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. This will give us a decimal. Once we have that decimal, we convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So we need to start by converting this to a decimal by dividing. So for 2 thirds, we can set this up as 2 divided by 3. Then we go through the division process. So we have 2 divided by 3. How many whole groups of 3 in 2? How many 3's in 2? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. And I'm going to extend the division bar here. Once we have the decimal and the zero, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 20 divided by three. So how many whole groups of three in 20? How many threes in 20? Well, six, that gets us to 18. And we need to put the six above the zero since we used that zero and thought of this as 20. This will line us up correctly. Now we multiply six times three is 18. Subtract 20 minus 18 is two. So we don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom. So we can continue on by using another zero that we can bring down. Now we have 20 again. So 20 divided by three, which is six. Now we multiply six times three is 18. Subtract 20 minus 18 is two. So we get another two and we can use another zero that we can bring down to continue on. So we have 20 again, 20 divided by three, which is six. Multiply, six times three is 18. Subtract, 20 minus 18 is two. And you may see that we have a pattern here. And this is going to give us a repeating decimal. We can continue to use zeros, but we're just going to keep getting the same thing. So we have 20 again, 20 divided by three, six again. So this is never going to end. These sixes will go on forever. We have a repeating decimal. So we can stop there and convert this decimal to a percent now by multiplying it by 100. And again, we can multiply by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So let's rewrite this decimal off to the side. So 0 0.6 repeating, and we can move the decimal once, twice to the right to convert this to a percent. This gives us 66.6 .6 repeating percent. So 2 thirds equals, and we can write this as 66.6, .6, and then we can put a bar above that six to show that that digit repeats. We have a repeating decimal here, percent. 2 thirds equals 66.6 .6 repeating percent. And that's one way to write out a repeating decimal as a percent. Another option is to round. And for this example, we're going to round to the tenths place and then the nearest whole percent. Let's start with the tenths. So two thirds is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding, this isn't exact. We have a six in the tenths place. And since the six is repeating, we have a six to the right in the hundredths. So this rounds up to 66.7%. Two thirds is approximately 66.7%. Now let's round to the nearest whole percent. So we need to round to the ones place. So does this round to 66% or 67%? Two thirds is approximately, we have a six in the ones with a six to the right in the tenths. So this rounds up 
to 67%. Two thirds is approximately 67%. So some different options there as far as writing out repeating decimals as percents. We can use a bar above any repeating digits to show that they are repeating, or we can round. So there you have it. There's how to convert two thirds to a percent. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.